So you have to take off the back panel, of course, with batteries in this whole thing. To start fresh, you need to reset it. You need to get a pin and put it inside this reset hole right here. Hold it down until you hear uh, the tones, not just one. It'd be a multiple long tone. Um, well, think of one beep and then two more beeps. Um, I can't do that, it would reset the lock. So, Okay, so first thing you do is under your person, uh, programming code. The default programming code on these are zero, zero, zeros. It has to learn first. So you're going to enter the zeros, four zeros. Um, one, two, three, four. Then you press quit set. Come on. Then you press zero. Then quick set again. All right, the system should remain unlocked during programming. It's unlocked. All right, add the new user code. So now you're going to enter your programming code, which is your, your you know, just, just trust me as I'm reading it to you. So you're going to enter your programming code, which you remember the four zeros, and then quick set, and then you're going to enter your new user code. So you're running your programming code, the same one. One, two, three, four. Four zeros, quick set. Then number one, then quick set again. It gives you positive feedback each time. Now use new user code. Um, and then um, quick set again. So it's set, and I have no idea what I just set. So let me uh, write down. So now we enter my new personal code, which is the, uh, which is the, um, 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 the, I just I just learned to lock. So now I enter the new personal code. So to do that, I'm going to start with the default again. The default, the four zeros, quick set, the number one, and then quick set again, and now the new user user code, and then quick set again. Now it's green. Now this time I wrote it down, so hopefully I'm a little brighter than that than I was last time. So now it has a new user code, but I need to delete that old um, uh, programming code rather. Um, yeah, that's why I was correcting it. PC personal code. So now I've got to delete that. So um, you enter your your uh, your personal code. Here's the default. Let's see if that works. For now. That was the personal code, so that doesn't work. Watch this. One, two, three, four. You've got to remember to delete that. That's built into this thing, so that one's got to go because that's the one you want to make sure it's, it's automatically comes with it. That, that anybody walking up to your door, if you don't remember to delete this user code, um, then they might just s sample your door and get lucky that you forgot to delete it. Um, okay. Okay, so your user code was the one you just created, um, that the four digits, or whatever it may be. Now you're going to need a programming code to program this the, the device with. So to do that, <laughs> yeah, and this is where it gets confuses everybody. So I'm probably maybe confusing you, but just follow along. So remember, there's two things, a programming code and a user code. The programming code default is four zeros. The programming user code default is one, two, three, four. So um, let me confirm that again. Yes, so that's that default user code. And a user is somebody's going to open the door. That's you and I, or you loaned it to a friend. Programming code is how you enter users' names. But we can't just have user code of three, four zeros because it's a default on all these locks. So um, now we're going to change the programming code. So you're going to enter the old programming code, and I didn't delete it. One, two, three, four. Quick set, the number four. Quick set again, new programming code. I'm going to use the same code and then quick set. Now it's green. All right, so now that's set. Right, so it automatically deleted. So the programming code is no longer going to be zero. So now we want it, and I'll test that. I want to set a new user code now for somebody. All right, so add a new user code. Even though we, we set that earlier when I had the old programming code. So now we're going to set a, um, a new user code. Come on. My cat's killing me here. Add a new user code. So we're going to enter the programming code, which is no longer four zeros. And we're going to test that. So we go one, two, three, four. Quick set. Red. Didn't work. Now we enter my, my new um, programming code. 
and then quick set. Um, it's green, so we, that means we're still going on. And then we're going to need a user code now, and then quick set. And then the new code is going to be two, three, four, quick set. Didn't work. Let's do it again. Programming code, then quick set, then number one, then quick set. It's green. New user code, one, two, seven, eight, and then quick set. It, it took one, two, seven, eight. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, one, two, well, let's try that. One, two, seven, right? Doesn't do it. One, two, seven, eight. Unlocks it. I'm leaving the house. I want to lock this door. Just press it. And that's simple as that. I want to unlock it. No, it doesn't work. But remember, we got that old default stupid one, two, three, four in there. Got to get rid of that. So now we want to delete that user code, the one you gave to your buddy. You know, um, and remember, 1278 is some other code. So I go 1278 unlocks. All right, now I need to delete that uh, the user code. So enter my personal code, my programming code. Remember, that's that one code that's going to program everything. And I'll enter that now. Right. All right, so I only got a second. Deleting a user code. And then quick set. It's green. The number two. And quick set again. Green again. And now the one I want to delete. One, two, three, four. You got to make sure you get feedback from each one of these. So one, two, three, four is gone now. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's lock it. And do it. One, two, three, four. Doesn't work. We tried it. It's going to lock me out if we try it. If we fail four times or the fourth time or something. But let's try the other one. One, two, seven, eight works now let's go ahead um, I've got to add a new add a new user code so again the programming code you enter to add a new user code and just had a block line then quick set adding user code then quick set then a number one then quick set then a new user code and then quick set it works so I'll go ahead and uh, lock it and I'm going to test my new, and you see me, I'll stay away from those. I'll give you that hint. But now I've got to delete this other one, the 1278. Remember, it works still. 1278. It still works. We've got to delete that. So we're going to go to, we got to program, go to the programming code to delete the user code. So you want to delete individual user codes. So you enter your programming code, then quick set, I didn't hear it, then the number two, there's your number two there, you're clicking there, then the user code you want to delete, one, two, seven, eight, quick set, it's gone, so now I'm down to one code, I'm down to one code, one, two, three, four won't work, one, two, seven, eight, that won't work, do that again. One, two, seven, eight. Doesn't work. One, two, three, four. Doesn't work. I don't want to do another one that set us out for 45 seconds. But I can add another one simply by again programming code to get you to the user codes. The confusion is with the programming and user code. That's where the two things get confusing at. So again, teach it, learn, has to learn a lot, then programming code, and then you put your new user code in, and then you just, you're just following the steps here on, 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 in a book there, but that's where it gets confusing at with all that. Make sure your door is unlocked also, as that will stop you.